Hi everyone, I'm Claire from Bears Abode and today I'm going to be showing you, I don't know if you've seen it, um, but it's quite a popular trend at the moment in the resin world and it's creating these sort of water droplet, um, I call them almost like crater um, effects on things like coasters. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that today with the Just For You Online UK uh, one coat resin. You can also um, have some people do it with UV resin, um, but personally my preference is this one coat. It's a really, really high viscosity resin. So um, basically it's super, super thick. And um, once you've mixed part A and part B, if you leave it to kind of settle for um, about 10 to 15 minutes, it will be really, really nice and thick. So you can just drop it into the coaster. So what I've done now is I've poured um, equal parts of both of these into just a little cup because you don't need much uh, for the first part of this. Um, I'm now just mixing it for three minutes, which is the recommended mixing time. Okay, so now this resin has uh, been mixed for three minutes. Um, what I am going to do though, because although it is nice and thick, it's not thick enough for what we're trying to achieve today. So I'm going to leave this for approximately 10 to 15 minutes till it's really, really nice and thick. Not completely solid, of course, but just that little bit thicker. Um, and that's purely down to the technique that we're going to be trying today. Okay, so the resin has now been sitting for 15 minutes. So I think we're all good to go with the first part of this um, tutorial. Okay, so it's all about dropping the resin into the mould in various different sizes um, because obviously you want it to look like raindrops as well as a lollipop stick I find it quite useful to have a toothpick um, for some particularly small little drops <laughs> Okay, so this resin has now been curing for about four hours. Um, I like to leave it for that amount of time, even though it was touch dry after about two. Um, but after about four, just really make sure it is fully, fully hard. Um, so now the exciting part. I've chosen a few different glitters um, and pigments from Just For You Online UK, which I'm going to add to the coaster. So I've chosen this one which is the Apple Teeny Fine Glitter. Um, I've chosen the Silver Ignition Dust. I've also chosen the White Ignition Dust. And the Chameleon Blue Green, which is like a lovely uh, colour shifting sort of pigment. Uh, we've also gone for the gold, the precious gold uh, floating pigment. And then finally, I'm going to add some purple opal flakes as well. Okay, so I find quite a nice uh, thing to do with all these glitters and pigments is just to drop them using a bit of a lollipop stick. Just like this. So some of them obviously onto the drops as well and then just throughout the mould. Okay. I then just like to blow off any sort of excess that you get as well. Okay I've had to put the flash on for this just to show you. Obviously this will be the underside um, and the next step will be to fill it in. I'm going to use the jet black pigment paste from Just For You Online. You can use any colour but I think the black tends to set it off really really nicely. Okay, so we're all ready now just to finish off this uh, sort of water droplet effect coaster. So you can see that is what we currently have. 
and I am going to be using the Jet Black Pigment Paste from Just For You. And again, I've chosen the one coat simply due to its uh, approximate two hour cure time. I just think that's, that's pretty impressive. Um, so we're gonna just fill that mold in with the one coat mixed with a touch of the Jet Black and then see how it looks in a couple of hours when we take it out of the mold. Okay, so this has now cured, so we're ready to take it out of the mold. What's quite interesting here is the back of it as well. So all of this was that awesome uh, precious gold floating pigment from Just For You. And this is the kind of effects it would create on the surface of your artwork. Uh, but that is obviously going to be the underside. So, moment of truth. Shall we see? I have got high hopes for this. We'll see. Oh, that is pretty special, isn't it? And I'll zoom you all in so you can uh, see properly. Mm -hmm. 